Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. We're back in the 1.17 Survival World, and today we are going to be. I don't actually know just yet. Uh, the first thing I want to do is quickly head to the drown farm to see if what I am doing is helping uh, drown spawn rates. I've started, I've only done a little bit of it. Um, I'll show you what that is in a second. I just want to quickly want to head there and see if there's any more drowns because I've AFK'd up there for about an hour. And it looks like there's a few. I don't know. No, there's none at all. There's four drowns here. Uh, okay, no, there's a few more that are babies. Right, so. So, guys, looking for the chest. I actually got an unbreaking trident. I didn't know you could get tridents with enchantments on them uh, from drowns automatically. Um, another thing I want to just say is that this bug where you can get water and ever is now patched. Uh, it was a bug where you put a glow lichen um, on the same block as a lava source and it would turn into water. Uh, it's now fixed. There's no way of doing that. Also, uh, 20 W, uh, no, 21 W 5 B got released. Uh, if you don't know what that means, B is a snapshot that fixes a few like major bugs. So they um, they release it. Obviously, the A is the first snapshot. B then goes and it goes down the alphabet until obviously they fit uh, go to the next week. Um, but it just fixed three bugs, one with copper, uh, the names being in, um, like, changing, uh, one with uh, copper not updating properly, and another one, I can't remember what it exactly was, uh, but I'll leave the patch notes linked in the description. So, what I've been doing is, I've been flattening this area, as you can see I've flattened all of this, I'm going 32 blocks away from here, so 32 blocks away from that block right there, um, all the way to the end. Then 32 blocks away that way, and I'm going to do it that way and that way. And there is a drowned over there. And then what I'm thinking of doing, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this yet, because this will take ages, but building walls going all the way up to the base, and build, uh, draining the other side of the walls out uh, up to the base, so like draining all of this out and making it air. Because then that would stop mobs from being able to spawn, and we can also build stuff under here. Right, so guys, this is a farm that I built a few uh, months ago, maybe over a year ago now. And it's meant to be a um, turtle farm. But I now don't need this anymore, as I've got one. So this can basically all be ripped out, um, and we can just use it out of resources somewhere else. So let me quickly just do that. And now what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to... Get this area built um, all the way around. So uh, I just need to now build this in. I'm using gravel because that is what the ocean of the uh, sea is. No, the floor of the ocean, not the ocean of the sea. Uh, my grammar don't really work that well. Right, so guys, I have done about half. As you can see, it's 32 blocks in each direction. I just need to do uh, 32 blocks in like this sort of area. And that way and also that way. And I've been thinking, um, I want to flatten the whole underside of the base. So what I mean by that is flatten this whole area up, like, so it outlines the actual outside of my base. So, um, I want it to end up so, like, it's flattened all the way up till here, all the way around, um, the whole base. The reason I want to do that is because I, one, it will probably look a lot better where it's completely flat. Then I can actually build stuff down here. I can make this uh, roof part look uh, nice-ish if I can. I can like remove all these pointy out blocks and all that. And I can build an actual roof up here. And then I can also um, build, I want to build like columns um, around there going all the way down. And I want to have a conduit in every single one of them because there's four of them. And I might even have one in the middle here or I might not. I might even move the drown farm so it's in the exact center of the base. I'm not too sure. But I now that's probably my next big project is to get the under part of the base done. As I think that is the ugliest part of the base at the moment. Um, apart from these quadrants. But I need to wait for the caves to actually be implemented for that. So I think that's what we're probably going to work on. I might even work on it in a live stream. I'm not too sure yet. But now I'm going to get all the resources we need together to build a fountain. Um, these fountains are going to be special fountains. So let me quickly get everything ready and then I will see you guys once I've done that Right, so guys we are scrapping the idea of what I just spoke about and we are now going to be doing something else because Okay, a wandering trader has spawned near me 
Uh, let's go up and see. This is exactly what I want. I added a data pack that warns me when a wandering trader spawns. Is this it? Or is there another one? No, because there can't be two. So it must be that one. I don't know where these llamas are. Okay, I don't know where these llamas are. And he has exactly what I want. Uh, small drip leaves. You can actually get them from wandering traders. I think there's a bug where they're not spawning at the moment. Because I have been sitting here for ages. It might just be bad luck. But I haven't got one. I've been sitting here for about uh, 12 hours. Yeah, I've been sitting here for about 12 hours trying to get a wandering trader and I haven't got one. Um, I installed a data pack to get them to spawn more commonly. And it seems like there's a he hasn't got his llamas with him. I, they might have died. Um, oh no, there was a, I just saw a lead. Is it bugged his llamas are invisible somewhere? Because I just saw a lead, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Anyway, we're not talking about that. I literally just want to buy the dripstone leaves off him. So let's quickly see how he can trade us. So he gives us, for one emerald, he gives us two uh, small dripstones. And we can buy ten off him. Okay, so we have now got dripstone leaves, which is pretty good. Once again, I think it is bugged. Um, and they're not spawning properly. They might be. I'm not sure where they are. So rare anyway. I'm not sure the spawn rates of them. Um, so they might be spawning normally, but I couldn't seem to get to one to spawn. It might just be my bad luck. So, anyway, we now have dripstones in the world. Um, so let's quickly go and get some clay. And then we can, I guess, just grow them and get some of them. Um, or a decent amount of them. Here is clay right here. Let's grab a few blocks of clay. There we go. Can I pick it up? No, let's ditch the sticks. I can also ditch that. There we go. So now let's pick all that up. Let's now fly. I want to quickly grab some bone meal. So we can actually bone meal the uh, dripstone leaves. Um, and we can actually get the normal ones. And I'm pretty sure you need shears to pick these up. So I might also grab some shears while we're here. Uh, it seems like the panda's doing some rolling. Right, so guys, we now have some shears. And we also have some bone blocks. Uh, right, so now let's quickly head and fly over. Um, and see if we can bone mill these because obviously you can bone mill them and you can also get the drip stones from them So let's uh, I ditched the clay what a noob Right so guys I now have the clay back and as you you might not know but as you can see I have put some more grass around this area Um, so there is a lot more grass around here now I also put some more over here and I also done some more over here so I'm slowly extending this grass all the way around um, I now just need to extend the grass over here and then I need to terraform it like down so it meets the ocean because I don't want any sand left over and I also need to try and fix an enderman griefing problems where they're stealing um, sand as you can see there's loads of holes there there's random blocks of sand all over this uh, area where they've just stole it and then placed it back down and there is also some all over the uh, savannah where they've done the same thing so I want to try and fix that. I think there's a data pack I can install that like stops them from taking blocks. Um, there is a game rule, but I think if you disable it, it disable, disables all mob griefing. So Enderman can't open doors, uh, break crops, and all stuff like that. So anyway, let's now get this um, load of these. So if I quickly grab some bone meal. There we go. I'm pretty sure we can bone meal. Yes, as you can see, we can. And now I'm pretty sure, if I quickly just kill this skeleton, there we go, I'm pretty sure we can shear this. Um, can I shear that? Okay, if I shear, oh, it all breaks. Hmm, so is there no way we can, like, get loads of these? Or do we have to wait for, like, loads of wandering traders? If I shear that, did that break and give it back to me? Yeah, it did. Okay, it did. So now what happens if I... Um, let's see if I bone mill this up a few blocks and then shear, uh, let's go one under that. So that one, it all breaks and how many does it give you? Okay, don't give you any backs. There's no way of like duplicating this, I guess, or like thinking it. Once you have the amount you have, that is the amount you have to keep, which is a bit annoying because now we need to find even more wandering traders and they're rare enough as it is. Or broken, whatever one it is. Um, but we have at least two dripstones now. 
So I don't. I want to test to see if you need cheers or not to break them, but I don't want to at the same time, just so because I don't want to lose them, as we only have a certain amount of each of them. Um, there must be a like something that can duplicate them or like a way to get more of them without having to, to get wandering traders. Right, so guys, I now have five of each of them, five uh, small drip leaves and five um, big drip leaves. And there's no way I can get any more of each of them unless another wandering trader spawns, I don't think. Um, there might be a bug or something where you can like get them, I don't know. Uh, but I don't really want to try any bugs just in case it removes them and deletes them. So I'm going to go put these in our storage system as they were hard enough to get as it is and I don't want to lose them because obviously there is no other way of getting them now until they are added uh, into the actual spawn in the world. Um, unless they fix or I get lucky, I don't know what one it was. It might have been where I was unlucky or it might be they're broke. Also I noticed, um, I mentioned earlier that there was a bug where copper blocks uh, didn't update when updating to uh, 20w05 or 21w05a and as you can see these ones have not these were all fully blue like that and they have downed went down a stage uh, same with these ones out here so that is a bit annoying but they will just oxidate themselves anyway they're not waxed so it don't really matter uh, the same in was it here no it's this other one uh, two of my uh, blocks got removed. I don't know why or how they got removed. It must have been something due to the namings of them. Um, but as you can see, all of these oxidated, which they shouldn't be. These should be uh, uh, stage 0, 1, 2, and 3, or 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then the same on this side, but the normal blocks. And these two got deleted. I don't know why. As you can see, there is a weird shadow, as if the block's meant to be there. But there is nothing here, as you can see, if I just break it, breaks the wall behind it. Um, so I don't know how that happened, why that happened. I'm not sure. I will see, have to find about putting two more blocks back there um, at a later date. But now let's head down into the storage system and put the dripstone leaves and the um, the big and small dripstone leaves into the storage system. Um, but now I quickly just want to jump into a survive, uh, creative test world, I mean. To show you guys some things uh, that I found out after my stream. Um, so I'm going to really jump and do that now and then we will be ending this episode. Right, so guys, we're now in a creative test world. And um, sorry if my words have been jumbled up. It is quite early in the morning for me. And I should really be asleep. But as you can see, I didn't actually know this. Uh, but you can get a moss block and you can actually bone meal it. And as you can see, it grows vegetation. Uh, also, it grows these uh, blocks here, uh, which are like little tree blocks. And it can also has a chance of growing the flowery ones. As you can see, there's one right there. It's also gr grown two on a block before. But this is quite cool. I like how this mossy block works. Um, there is a tag that this is under. Uh, which I uh, don't know what is in this block tag. If I look over it, as you can see here, hashtag Minecraft lush plants replaceable, which means that lush plants can replace that block. Um, so like the mossy blocks and mossy carpets can replace this. So this is a way to like basically farm these, uh, these. Um, also carpets and moss blocks you can like basically just farm these by having one block here and this sadly you can't like automatic farm them you can automatically farm the carpets and these blocks but the mossy blocks have have to have like uh, stone blocks or a uh, lush cave replaceable next to it right so guys as you can see I'm now in the folder for lush cave uh, lush plants replaceable and near here is every block that is in that um, file so you've got base stone overworld, which is uh, stone, gravel, um, no, stone, andesite, granite, and diorite. They're the blocks in that uh, category. you then got cave vines, which is the glowberry bushes, things, the glowberry vines. you then got dirt, gravel, sand, moss blocks, flowers, grass, tall grass, moss carpets, small drip leaves, big drip leaves, big drip leaf stem, and vines. So they're the blocks in here, but I think it's a bit glitched um, as there's a few things it don't actually do here. 
Right, so guys, there is a few things it don't do, like it don't replace grass uh, blocks. I don't think, was grass blocks one of them? I don't think it was actually. Um, it might have been, it might not have been, I may be wrong here. Uh, let me quickly just open the file back up. Um, no, okay, dirt blocks is one and grass is in, uh, grass as in the small grass, these are in there so let me quickly just see if a dirt blocks is one of them as it says it is so let's maybe surround um dirt blocks and then put a moss block in the middle and bone mill that yeah as you can see it does replace dirt blocks so then blocks i showed you are all the blocks the uh, moss uh, i don't know what to call it moss um yeah whatever this is the bone milling moss that is what it can replace and it looks like it can generate moss blocks moss carpets these uh, these small grass and tall grass. I don't think there's anything else. I haven't found anything else I don't think it can generate uh, drip stones unless it's really rare Right so guys another thing I want to test just before we end this video is can you put any of these into a um, Flower pot and no you cannot none of these can go into a flower pot which I hope they do do it So these can go into flower pots I think these in flower pots would look quite cool, uh, just like a little tree. Um, that would be quite sick. So that is probably where I'm going to end this episode. If you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And let me know what you guys like the most in the most recent snapshot. I can't wait for it to all come into survival mode. I especially love this and I hope, I know that it weren't showed or anything, but I really hope this can be placed on like uh, walls as well as ceilings. Because I think it being placed on just ceilings is a bit uh, boring. And I think it would be a lot like better if it could be placed on walls and floors. Uh, especially walls. But if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.